Granada is over and it's time to go back. I'm not ready at all and moving out was really horrible because today I was meant to pack my things into my car. Um, I couldn't because someone broke into my car. He smashed a window, broke in and even stole some things. So then I had to sort this out. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, it was weird. I mean, bad things happen to everyone and I expected at some point to have at some point in the future, but not now. Um, really weird. They also stole all of my CDs. We stole some tools, my new tools, that I was really happy about, but th there wasn't any attachment. It's it's whatever at this point. Um, worst things happened to me this year, so it's whatever. Yeah, I had to remove all the glass. That was <laughs> fun, interesting. Well, I had to drive to a place where they could fix it in time. It worked out, so I was really lucky actually. So. I told them that I had to leave in two days and then in two days they said yeah I'll come here in two days. It's our schedule is full but if there is um, if we have time we'll do it. If the window arrives we'll do it. And then the window did arrive and then I dropped off my car in the very morning and they said yeah um, I can't fix um uh, the other car so I'm gonna do yours now so they've done it straight away I was really happy about that so that, that's something good moving out of the apartment was quite stressful because of that so I got um, some plastic for the window for two days so I could use the car and it looked like a normal window basically and I had to pack most of my things into the car and I dropped them off at the friend's place and I'm so thankful she helped me and I also stayed uh, a night there so last night actually I stayed at her place it was amazing yeah it was quite stressful to move out I had to clean a lot and then one flatmate already left and the other one was late when the owner came and then all the furniture was moved and I didn't really know that any furniture was moved I had I had a hunch that one of them nicked a lot of furniture or some of them and the other flatmate was quite shocked to find out in the end it all got sorted and now i'm here and i don't know what to do really now because i wanted to go to a few spanish cities but i'm quite worried and scared that someone's going to break in i bought a new can of paint because they stole the other one and it was already half empty but whatever so they stole some of my new tools my CDs, apart from my favorite one because it was in the player, they, they left me my favorite one, and they stole the hand brush. The new one as well, so I had two in my car, an old one and a new one, and they stole the new one. So I wanted to go to Sevilla, I don't know if I will. So right now I'm in one of my favorite places to think what's next. You know what, I don't have to be anywhere, I don't have to go anywhere, I can literally do whatever I want. So I can go by what I feel like doing. And right now I feel like staying here. I don't know how long. In an hour, so there's a uh, visitor center. They're closing in an hour, so you can use the toilet desk for another hour. And they have a really nice exposition. You can see that they put a lot of work into that. It's about um, this nature park here. Uh, about the mountains, the rocks, what kind of rocks there are, some bit of history also about gold. There was gold in a river here, but never apparently in the mountain area or like the hill area. It was really well made. Lots of interactive things as well. A lot more than usual, I would say. So it's really nice. Actually, I want to do something fun. Um, I want to talk about my current sensations so I feel the sun I feel warmth on my skin I feel ants walking over my legs um, the, like the little tripling I can feel it um, I feel the wind I can 
smell the needles of the trees. Um, I can hear cicadas or something different in the trees. I can hear the wind in the trees moving the leaves. <laughs> and I see beautiful nature all around me. So many trees. And no one else is here. I think there's someone I like. I don't know what it is yet. I definitely like that person, but I don't know what it is. And I don't know what it can be. But we will find out very soon. Because we will meet. That's gonna be so cool. I'm really looking forward to that. And it might be the highlight of this trip. At least it's right now the thing I'm looking forward to the most. I drove up north from Granada and I was kind of driving through the countryside, not so much on the highway and I really loved it. I felt like I was the only person there, I felt at peace and it was just so beautiful. It was very interesting to see a different side of Spain, it was a completely different vibe straight away and yeah, seeing how hot it actually is and how the nature looks like. lots of animals here, sheep, cats and dogs, even so a squirrel and lizards. And a lizard fell from the tree above me and really scared me. <laughs> and there's something falling from the tree onto my car. That's also scary. Luckily it didn't fall into my food. Toilets here were closed, I thought. But no, um, only the man's toilet were open, so I use them. Fuck it. I have a lot of things in my car. It's really hard to live in my car at the moment. I still need to sort out my things. I've done a lot yesterday. And now I'm gonna get ready, get my stuff ready. And then I'm gonna hit the road and go to Sierra Marina for a hike. And I hope it's not too hot. It's gonna be 33, 34 degrees and I hope it's gonna be amazing. I'm not gonna have any reception at all. It's gonna be good. I'm at the beginning of a path. I think it's about four kilometers something. And you can actually uh, go by car here. I didn't know that. I didn't, I guess I didn't understand that when a lady said that. I could have come here by car, but I'm here by foot. But it's fine. <laughs> I wanted to go for a walk by foot. And yeah, this is gonna probably take 
two hours, two or three hours because I'm gonna probably take many breaks because this is so amazing. I'm in the mountains, kind of in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by nature. I have no reception, no signal at all. It's so peaceful, I love it. Oh my god. I think I was made for this and for traveling and I'm definitely doing the right thing. Oh my god. This is so amazing. I'm so, I'm so happy. There's a squirrel. I think I've just missed it. Damn it. things about these mountains or this mountain range, Sierra Machina. In the exposition at the visitor center, I was reading that there's uh, caves here and even cave paintings from people from thousands of years ago. Apparently there are a few trees or a bit of vegetation or plants left here that like, that like humidity. And well, this is the south of Spain and um, everything here is really dry. So I'm going to try and spot some of these trees, even though I have no clue about trees, but maybe I can find some. So from my understanding, all of this is well-reserved nature and untouched. This might sound a bit weird, but walking here reminded me of being in a sauna. Breathing in the really hot air, you can feel it in your nostrils. And then you have the smell of pine trees. I think it should be the other way around. Like when you're in the sauna, you think of being in nature. And <laughs> not when you are in nature, you think of a sauna. But yeah, it took me a while to think of what it reminded me of and it's being in a sauna. <laughs> so the friend I stayed at is into tarot, tarot cards and she was reading my feature and one of the things I asked was how this trip is gonna be if it's gonna be good or if anything bad is gonna happen and um, she said that I got the best cards possible so everything should be fine but then they were all flipped but she said she doesn't do flipped cards and uh, but she said oh if they were flipped I would tell you not to do this trip and initially they were all flipped so this trip is either gonna be really awesome or terrible i don't know according to the cards it was interesting a fun experience we also did some moon shot and apparently mine is all about fire 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 um, i don't know what to think of that but at least okay so i don't believe in these kind of things it's more like coincidence i would say so I think it's a coincidence that with the moon thing, I mean, come on, it's the moon, how can, I don't know, it's weird, but the moon stuff did apply to me, it was correct, but yeah, I think it's a coincidence, I don't know, but it was still interesting, I didn't know something like that even existed, and it was a fun experience.
well there's supposed to be water here nothing dried out the last bit of the path and I'm in the middle of um, olive trees they are everywhere problem is there is no shade really I was lucky to find this tree here to give me some shade for a break but it doesn't look like that will be the case anytime soon and it's really hot obviously it's Spain so that's not good should be done soon, I hope. Now I know why it's called Sierra Magina. It is indeed magical. the street this is the end of the path oh my god it would have been so much easier with a car but I'm glad I've done this at least once I don't know if I'll do a hike like that again it's really weird every time I expect people somewhere there are no people like here I've only seen two cars pass by but no pedestrians and every time I <laughs> don't want any people to be around people are around I don't know why it's always the opposite I made it back to the street Ooh. to go there I don't know if I told you but the other day someone broke into my car like what the fuck they smashed a the window and stole my new tools I think I told you I think I did yeah what the fuck <laughs> Oh my god, what? That is so random and so many! Driving north to Madrid was kind of boring. It was really just going in a straight line for like many hours. I was excited to be in Madrid. I stayed for three days at a campsite and explored the city. It is so beautiful, so big. I really liked it there. I think about, I think, six to nine million people live there. I saw the beautiful buildings, I went to a palace with the loads of lions. I saw lions everywhere. I went to a park as well.
Madrid I drove further north, kind of northeast, towards Barcelona. And the more north I've got, the nature changed, and for the first time in a long time, there was rain. And with the change of nature and this heavy rain, I got a bit sad because now I kind of reached a tipping point. Because now I realized, okay, I'm, I've left my life in the south and I'm leaving Spain. 2022 was a rather hard year for me because of a lot of bad things happened to me. A relationship ended, uh, someone broke into my car, because of other things that I don't even really remember right now, which I guess is a good thing. It was a intensity of high highs and low lows, like a friend committed suicide, and then another well not friend but at least person I know did the same a few months later. Uh, things like that. And now, a year later, I can say that I healed from it. Not that I left it behind. I mean, like, I think things like that will always like, be a part of you. But those things don't drag me down anymore as they used to. And ironically, <laughs> I'm in this video, I'm leaving Spain, going back home, but in fact, tomorrow I'm actually going back to Spain. I'm going on a somewhat 9-10 day road trip back to the south to uh, study there yet again. And this time I'm not even alone, which is very nice, something I've always wanted to do. I hope it goes well. So while leaving Spain, I drove through Andorra. I, I really wanted to do this at least once. I thought I have to, I have to do it, so I did it. And I'm so glad I did because it was pure magic. It was so beautiful, like all those very high mountains and then the green on it as well it was so beautiful honestly i think you should really do that at least once it was different from the drive um near the coast of spain like crossing the border there it was definitely very different
so after I drew a friend or I didn't film a lot because I was um, busy with that person I've met who is now my partner as of over a year. It is quite a interesting and romantic story that I'm not gonna tell. But yeah, it was beautiful. It was very nice to meet and I'm really glad it worked out that we could actually meet and that it went so well. I drove from the south of France to Paris to meet a friend. In between, I think I had two stops by lakes and, by, and it was beautiful. And after meeting a friend in Paris, which was actually fun, well, I, because I'm crazy, I drove uh, to Germany. And I'm not kidding, as soon as I crossed the border, I was greeted by construction. Anyway, because I'm crazy, I drove to a friend to meet this person, my now partner, and a friend of ours, and another friend, and we spent a weekend together. And then I drove home in Germany and because I'm so crazy, uh, well, I unpacked, well, we, my family and I unpacked the car, packed it fully again and drove to Poland. <laughs> that I had to take a long break from driving. I was quite burnt out from driving. 